Your major terrorist group, Boko Haram, they put it in their pockets. Yes. What's Messi? Will it be done? Well, they are not really aware of the malnutrition. And I think every single person is born with purpose. And we have to, if we want to live a, live a fulfilling life, we need to know what our purpose is. And with your purpose... Hello guys, welcome to another informative video on our channel. Today, we journey down to the far north, to Rabat to be precise, where a project has been hanging for over 40 years. The Mambila Hydropower Project is a 3.05 gigawatt hydroelectric facility developed on the Dongo River near Baruf Kakara village, Sauduna local government area of Taraba State, Nigeria. The project entails the construction of four dams and two underground powerhouses with 12 turbine generator units in total. The construction of the hydropower project will take approximately six years because of the extensive nature of the scope of work which includes the construction of four dams, one of which is expected to be 150 meter high while the other two will be 70 meter and 50 meter high. With a plan generating capacity of 3050 megawatts, the Mambila hydropower plant is expected to be the largest power generating installation in Nigeria and one of the largest hydroelectric power stations in the entire African continent. Power generated by the facility will be transmitted to the national grid by four 500 kV DC transmission lines connecting Makodi and one 330 kV DC transmission line connecting Jalingo. The total length of the transmission lines will be 700 kilometers or thereabouts. The project is estimated to cost 5.8 billion US dollars and will generate up to 50,000 local jobs during the construction phase. The project is being undertaken by Nigeria's Federal Ministry of Power, Construction and Housing with the help of Chinese investments. Chinese exports import Exim Bank is funding 58% of the estimated 5.8 billion project cost, while 15% will come from the federal government of Nigeria. Studio Piatrangili, an engineering company based in Italy, provided the design for the project, while the area mapping was completed in 2008 by Mears Maps Geosystems. The ground survey for the project was completed in August 2010 and environmental approval was received in December 2011. The Mambila project, originally conceived in 1972, could advance only after 35 years when the Engineering Procurement and Construction EPC contract for the Mambila project was awarded to a consortium of Chinese companies led by China Gizubo Group in November 2017. However, the project was delayed following legal issues and other bottlenecks, but after the intervention of the Minister of Power, Sali Mamam, most of these issues have now been resolved and work is set to commence. Recently, the Nigerian Tribune reported that the original award of the project, Sunrise Power and Transmission Company Limited, has let Nigeria off the 500 million penalty hook incurred for multiple defaults on a 200 million settlement agreement. President Mohamed Dubahari has directed the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority NSIA, to source and pay $200 million to Sunrise. This is where we draw the curtain on the Mambila project. We sincerely hope that the project experiences no further delays. It's been an amazing time here. If you find this video educating, why not click the like button and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next one.